Hello and good day to you. So I've been trying to create a neural network optimizer that will train a XOR gate in less times than standard uh, gradient descent. Uh, this usually manages to do it within say around 50 epochs for most of these 10 different optimizers that I've got going on. Uh, these 10 are a subset of 500 which I've got in a other algorithm that's doing a very long winded uh, test and investigation of gradient descent and related optimization methods for neural networks uh, and what I'm trying to do is get that number at four which is the four different classes uh, of an XOR gate being uh, that uh, that's got two inputs and it only if one input is on and the other input is off it will produce a true and it, if it's if there's any other combination including if both inputs are on, it will include a false. The next number is the total error, which uh, maxima, maximum of four if it was completely wrong and minimum of zero if it was completely right. Uh, and as you know, XOR gates become increasingly uh, difficult to go, uh, train as they get closer to zero. Um, I've got these not nine different algorithms and what this was was a bit of a personal uh, challenge to write a thousand optimizers. Uh, I'm at 500 at the moment and I've still got another 500 to go to hit that challenge. Uh, but I wanted to find uh, a thousand different ways of creating XOR gates to then move on to work out what was just a uh, look of the draw and what was actually much more efficient. Though interestingly, I found that uh, gradient descent is meant to be something that will always, always work. Um, I don't know if that's quite true because I've got it set to go out to 5,000 uh, epochs and stop thereafter and sometimes that fails. But a lot of these ones that I'm showing in front of you now have managed to always train within 5,000 epochs. Um, you can see one of them, the first one, uh, just failed to do it within 500. Uh, but these seem to do it a lot faster and they are all different, you know, fairly different methods and I sort of have a plan to do a little bit of investigation of the work and come back to you with an explanation of different methods being used here. Um, but it's been, been an interesting personal challenge. You can Something that I found really fascinating is you can see that watching this it produces different setups which still nonetheless uh, fulfill the criteria of being an XOR gate. Uh, different colour setups, different uh, ways, uh, you know, reds and greens. Uh, red represents a negative number and a green represents a positive number with the value above uh, giving the uh, number. As per the normal sigmoid output, uh, a value or a total value of a, of a neuron pl of plus five will equal uh, one and total value of minus five will equal zero. So you can see this quite nicely cycling through uh, different algorithms and just repeatedly forming a neural network at a very rapid pace. Um, out in the wild, this takes a lot longer and you would not see it change and switch this quickly. Um, and the big idea that I'm trying to get get from this is can I make reinforcement learning happen in a much faster rate than normally happens at the moment because if I can um, if I can get my neural networks that are doing stock trading to be much more quicker in learning and much more responsive maybe they can learn in real time probably not but worth interest worth a look but also you know can get down the amount of time i spend working with them even if even if some of these optimizers aren't the best optimizer uh, it might be useful for finding the uh, other genetic genes uh, for the neural, neural 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 evolutionary algorithm that i'm using Oh, you can see that one hasn't worked at all. So that one's gone into a bit of a... Uh, that one just completely broke. So I've got... 
So I've got something to um, work through. But a lot of work done. Some of these seem really successful. And bear in mind that they, these are doing it in 500 or 50 epochs uh, compared to you know the norms. So I hope that's an interesting demonstration for you. I intend to go through uh, some ideas of the more exotic optimization methods that I used as the basis for these when I get a chance. Thanks and have a good night. Bye.